Let's start the initial setup of our ghosts. Over in the sprites, I have five new ghost sprites. A sprite ghost blue, orange, pink, and red. These are 32 by 32 with their origin points centered. I also have a sprite afraid, which is a filled in blue ghost, same dimensions as the others. If I open the sub images here, I've got a blue one and a white one. And what this will do is cause it to flicker once the ghosts are changing from their afraid state back into their normal state. And then down in the object, I've created an object ghost parent. And this is going to be where we'll put in all of the ghost code. For right now, it's just holding on to the sprite wall as its placeholder sprite. And then I've created an object ghost for each one of the sprites. And the only difference here is that they have the parent set to the object ghost parent. So go ahead and open the object ghost parent. And now we'll set up our initial variables. So add event, create, come over to control. I'm going to leave myself a comment. This is for setup. First, I'm going to set a variable. That variable is going to be ghost underscore speed. It's initially going to start with a value of zero. Its normal speed is going to be 4, and when it's in the afraid mode, it's going to be down to 2. But at the beginning of the level, we don't want the ghosts to be moving, so that's why I'm setting it to 0 initially. I'm going to give them a direction, though. So come over to Move, Move Fixed, set it to the left, with a speed set to Ghost Speed. I'm going to create two more variables. So in Control, Set Variable. This one is going to be which underscore way set to zero and this variable is going to help us out when we are navigating the maze I'll explain this in a later video and then finally I want to create another variable called is underscore afraid and set it to false we're not going to be moving the ghosts yet but we can go ahead and set up a few other things beforehand First, let's make it stop when it comes into contact with a wall. So add event, collision. We will find the object wall. And the thing about solid objects is that as soon as you create a collision event, your current object cannot pass through it. So we don't really have to put in an action telling the ghosts to stop because simply having this event will prevent them from moving through it. However, if you leave an event open without any actions, GameMaker will consider it an empty event and delete it when you try to run the game. So we need to have something in here. So all I'm going to do is just bring in a comment, and I'll just say no. So now because there is something in the actions, this event will be considered valid. Let's also allow the ghost to wrap around the screen if it happens to go through one of those tunnels. So add event, other, outside room them to move and we'll tell it wrap screen in both directions. That's all we need from the parent for now so close that and now we need to get the ghosts to appear on screen so let's open the object message and in the create event down here where we are setting up our ready section and we are creating the instance of the object player we'll also create our ghost so come to main one create instance. I'm going to have these ghosts be made above the player. Our first object will be the object ghost red at an x of 320, y of 256. I'm just going to copy this and paste it a couple more times. So now I should have four ghosts. I'm going to change the second one to ghost blue and its x is going to be 288 y of 320 change the third one to object ghost pink this will be 320 320 and then finally change this one to ghost orange at an x of 352 y of 320 all of these coordinates might be different depending on how you've set up your game and how big your sprites are but this is going to put the blue, pink, and orange inside of the ghost house and the red right above the barrier. So that's all we need for this. Finally, let's open the object player. 
and we'll make it so that the ghosts all disappear when the room has been cleared of pills. So come to our object pill collision down here in the test last pill section right above our testing for the number of object cherries on screen we'll come to main one destroy instance and we will tell it to destroy the object ghost parent likewise we'll come to the object power pill and down in that section drag a destroy instance destroy object ghost parent so let's go ahead and test I'll start the game. The ghosts are in place, and I'll go ahead and clear the room. Okay, so when I eat that power pill, they should all disappear. And we go to the next room. Ghosts are in position. And there we go. So with the initial setup out of the way, we can now get on to the complex task of making the ghosts navigate the maze.